Hey guys, Sam here from Technologetic, and today we're doing a tour of my room. Uh, you can see that book is on top of a whole lot of magazines, that's on top of Macworld, uh, and also Australian Photography, two magazines which I have not read yet. Um, I've got the iPhone 5 on a Blue Lounge Milo, also with the Blue Lounge cable drops uh, for the cable. Here I've got a whole lot of posters from the oatmeal.com, which is a very uh, highly recommended comic website. They're very funny comics, for, um, which anyone interested in technology will find funny. Um, you can see them here, and if you head onto their website, you'll be able to see them in full uh, digital reproduction. So I've got these on the wall, sort of slightly left of the bedside table, and then to the right of the bedside table is my bed. Here we've got Hilltop Hoods drinking from the sun, this Aussie hip hop band, um, into that. Um, here we've got the Dark Knight Rises poster, this was before it came out. And here's an overall shot, you can see the cupboard, which is the Dark Knight Rises posters on. Here we've got this uh, bookcase at the top, we've got a whole lot of boxes which I'm interested in. Uh, we go down, we see an Epson EB1751 projector, and then a whole lot of iPhone cases. Um, here we've got the Vika tabletops, which they're from Ikea, and I chuck some legs on the bottom of them. And so we move around and we see my three HP 2311Fs. Uh, these are three LED monitors running as individual displays, although you can configure them to be one long display using the Catalyst Control Center software from AMD. And so you become one big iFindy display for games, etc. Behind each monitor, you can see that color. I'm actually using IKEA Diode LED strips, which allows me to change the color of them, and also um, a couple of effects that I can do with them. Here you've got the Ducky DK9008 Shine 2 mechanical keyboard. Uh, it's got cherry MX brown switches and a green backlight. Next to that's the Rocket Cone XDD, which by which the colors can change on it. Uh, that's sitting on a Razer Vespula, which is a double-sided uh, mouse pad from uh, Razer with a gel. Here you've got the Swan M10 speakers and a drink bottle. Now the Swan M10 speakers I highly recommend as they sound great. Here we've got the uh, Microsoft LifeCam VX6000. And behind, we can see the behind the monitors here, that's the uh, subwoofer for the uh, Swan M10s. Uh, yeah, as I said, those speakers sound really great. My custom built computer here, it's all been cable managed, and you can see a video of this uh, if you click here on the screen now, if you've got annotations on. Basically in this, it's a Cooler Master CM692 Advanced in Video Edition case. It's got an Intel Core i7-3930K, which is part of the Socket 2011. It's got a Gigabyte X79 UD3 motherboard. It's got an AMD uh, 7950 graphics card, and it's got a BitPhoenix Recon fan controller, which you can sort of see there. Finally, I've got an Xbox 360 Slim Edition, which comes in a 250GB variety, which is great. Up here, I've just got some random stuff that I'm interested in, um, all for easy access. A couple of Xbox 360 games here called Duties, Battlefield, and a couple of Blu-rays. Uh, I've got the Milo's Alto CD from Coldplay and Drinking from the Sun from Hilltop Hoods. A whole lot of random cleaning stuff and other random things which I don't know where to put. And finally, just a couple of things that I'm kind of as decorations for this room. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you liked it, please subscribe. Please give us the thumbs up. Also, check out the video on my computer, which is just here. Thanks.